Uncle Swinney back with Fright of the Bumblebee! <clears throat> hey, young Wallace, love. How's business? I'm just going to badger your husband. I suppose you've an insult for me and all. No, I've no insult for you. Then again. Pardon me, Mrs. Gabberly. I wonder, uh, that is, could you spare a verb? Sorry? Give me a verb, Wallace. An action word. Oh, playing a word game, are we? In a manner of speaking. Oh, well, let's see. A verb. Chew is an action. Ooh, I like that. That's a good one. Now I need a thing. A thing? You know, something physical you could touch. Something I can touch? Toad? Why not? Now a descriptive word, if you please. Hmm. Uh, mild? Oh, oh, oh that's a corker, that is. <laughs> and then Last the one, nearly done. I need another thing. Or like a person or animal. A person or animal. Hmm, now, let me see now. Gentlemen? Yes, that's a thing. Hey! What is it now? Go chew! A toad, you mild gentleman! Hey! You do know how to wound a bloke, Winnie! Mm. Eee! Ha ha! Got him that time! Serves him right for being such a grumpy old granddad. Do you Would even you mind, have kids? Uh, if we're grandkids. I, uh, that is, could you see your way fit for business purposes? Business purposes? Well, be my guest. I've got. Now let's mosey. Mosey, mosey, mosey. Let's all go on mosin. The sky is blue, and still it rains on yours truly. Okay. Well, did you do as I asked? I'll get on that momentarily. Everything's under control, except that it isn't. Show Snail to you. I realize this may seem a trifle irregular, but Major Crumb insisted I show you this. It's... Uh, it, uh, oh. A snail? In my garden? Whoa! These snails are great for gardening! Have you lost your mind, Wallace? Uh, that would imply you sure had one in the first honest. place. Good thing he's got a heart, though. <laughs> You've Otherwise... come buzzing back, Mr. Wallace. As a bee to a blossom, eh? Mm. Mm. Toast for hey, squirrel. Are, little fella. Try some toast. Yes, do feed him. I'm sure the little mite's hungry. Ironically, he had toast earlier. Looking for exactly. You could just say there's a tea your bag on your, your chest. this morning, Mr. Wallace. Uh, I wonder, Miss Flit, if you would be so kind as to uh hand me that tea bag. Tea bag, Mr. Wallace. 
A tea bag? The one the that one is... on your, um... Uh, ooh. Are you feeling quite well, Mr. Wallace? Oh, no. He's too polite to just ask. A pot of purple pansies? And mine haven't bloomed yet. Felicity is partial to purple plants, I think. Ah, it's the trousers! He did spend all that money on them. I might as well get some use out of them. Gnome. Awfully long drop. Which brings to mind the question, why are there no stairs? But here, here again, just checking on that honey order. Almost ready, I hope. Festival of Crumpets could be the best yet if your honey's as sweet as you say. Your inventions from the actual premises. Mm, yes, robot mice tend to be a headache. Mmm, last night. Bedtime snack. Gorgonzola makes a nice change from Wensleydale. And it's not refrigerated because... <sighs> Time for a nap. Oh, no, better not. Mr. Wall I need that tea bag. I see no tea bag. Look right uh, down there. Where? Under oh, your uh, chin. Sitting, um, sitting on your uh, um, uh, my uh, um, uh, my what? Uh, um, the man is quite mystifying sometimes. Perhaps you'd like to give the purple fansies a sniff. You'd have to, uh, lean over, of course, but... I see no point in leaning over and sniffing my purple pansies. I'm giving them the cold shoulder until they decide to shape up and bloom for me. What? Uh, they say that the bloom's lower down on the plant. Is that so? Uh, yes. You'll discover, if you lean way down, that... The topmost blooms are perfectly adequate to my need. Hmm. Huh. You're a stubborn one, aren't you? Excuse me, officer, but can I put some cheese well, in your helmet? Luke who's back. Return to the scene of the crime, have we? Fancy some cheese, Officer Dibbins? Don't mind if I do. This cheese, it doesn't come with strings attached, does it? Just put Not it in your helmet. cheese, no. It's Gorgonzola. It's an attempted bribe, that's what it is. I'm watch. Well, aren't we Const the delightful the one? Oh. I'll 
Finally. You there, prisoner. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. I think not. Fine. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Take off your helmet. I want to throw cheese into your helmet. I'm afraid not. Don't know why I bother. I'm a. F how do I get you to take the cheese? Not sure how I pull that off. Must be awfully hot under that helmet, I reckon. A sunny day like today. It's a trifle sweltering, yes. But danger and discomfort are all in the line of duty for an officer of the law. Though most folk don't appreciate it. Const Okay, last chance. Time we had a little chat. Gorgonzola. That's more like it. Now you've had time to think. What can you tell me about what happened yesterday? Feel bad about what you did, do you? Um. He's weeping. Maybe this contraption's got feelings after all. Or he was created by a bungler. Now. I want a wholesome a bungler, answer. but still a bungler. If I release you from custody, will you do it again? I swear upon the city of Rotterdam. Well, I'll be damned. The prisoner the has been interviewed, in yes, and having exhibited signs of repentance, I am prepared to release you into your protective custody, provided, Wallace, you give me an assurance that you'll keep your blinking eye on him. Or it. Or whatever he answers to. Easy, little mouse. He's just overexcited. Oh, I'll keep an eye on him, Constable Dibbins. You have my word on that. Have you brought it, Mr. Vallis? Clearly, I need to go somewhere inside of the house. I wonder where Major Crumb disappeared to. Hmm. Better not be eating all of the Wensleydale. What's that? That looks like the flyer I picked up in the hall. Why would Gromit throw away an important piece of correspondence like that? Because it's junk mail. Anything that promises to turn you into a Superman in less than a day is basically junk mail. I'll be glad I stocked up on crates when the honey or uh, provided the bees oblige me with some honey. It's a comfort to know where- Wallace, those are clearly crackers. Not biscuits. Biscuits are those weird little cookies. Uh, 
probably shouldn't even be classified as cookies, except that they're cookie-shaped. Wallace! Thank heavens you made it to the shelter! I'd given you up for lost! Caught in the crossfire, were you? Yes... What's the news from above, citizen? Chaos? And destruction? Pardon me, Major. About those groating bars of yours. You rations? finally Once have one. Emergency rations for... Emergencies, obviously. Beat stockpiling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. And very tasty they look, too. Tasty? They're foul. But packed with heist. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. What? And besides, gratitude in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are... By George, this is an emergency! You just realized that? I hereby issue you one groating bar. Guard it well, and see that it lasts you all day. Wallace, here's one for you as well. Much obliged. Now, how do I get the tea bag? Wait! Careful, Wallace. You're heading into hostile territory. The enemy has clearly landed, and most likely set up camp in West Wallaby Street. Who knows what the blighters have done to our once peaceful neighborhood? If you make it back alive, you'll have to give us a full report. In the meantime, eat your protein rations. The protein will keep your strength up, especially if you're captured. Brave lad! We'll keep the home fires back. How do I distract him? You see, Private, a few of those blighters did. From it, old chum. Slip me that groating barb. You'll do no such thing, Private Grummit. I gave you your groating barb. Stop pacing about, Wallace. You're making the rest of them. You've got to get your mind off the carnage up there. Would you like to hear what help pass the time? Well, I hate to... Uh... Ah, of course you would. Mm. I brought visual aids. <laughs> I can still see it perfectly. Uh, now, there's a sight. It's me posing with mother next to my 40 millimeter bofers. Look at the size of that monster. Hey, we called her. The gun, not my mother. As I was sitting down. <clears throat> Who's that fellow? That's me as a young recruit. Off to basic training. How I cried when they cut off my golden curls. But I cheered up as soon as they issued me with a beautiful set of dog tags. Best useful dog tags. If you happen to forget your rank or name, you've got it right there. Never go into battle without your dog tags, Wallace. I... <coughs> what a face. That's me kitted out for heavy combat. That helmet took many a dent before the war was throughout it. I could have become seriously loopy. Take my advice, Wallace. Never go into battle without a regulation picture. Sounds like you were quite a soldier, Major Cro- Well, Wallace, why the past tense? Uh, oh dear. You're a senile Always a soldier. Something you civilians will never grasp. Into the fray! That is, if I were recommissioned and had a proper helmet with a cute little brief charge of this shelter and distribute the group. Wait a minute. This looks Ouch. like a... What did you expect, Wallace? You can't snatch a soldier's helmet. They're bees. I'm not sure I like that big fella's attitude. You there! You seriously think that hive is a... Salute when an officer addresses you. But Major Crumb, that's a... Thank you. Okay, I'm going to need smoke. And barring that, I have no idea what else would calm down these bees. Uh, bon appetit. Oh! 
not exactly a flood, is it? Okay. Safe. You don't I understand that not one of those wretched hippies, are you, Wallace? No, no, he's not a hippie. I need to look at him. That is not the hippie attire. Our last bag of strongium tea. The Mixomatic will be perfect for whipping up a taste. Okay. One unit of energized fluid for a creamy finish. Happened to his little cricket bat. Hmm. Wait a minute. Rummet had a tennis racket. No flowers in here. Okay. That space is reserved for flowers. Great big... Back again, Mr. Wallace? I'm flattered. Miss Flit, if you'll just take a look at the pansies, I think you'll... I told you, Mr. Wallace. I refuse to let those yellow hooligans have the satisfaction of... Oh, purple. You see? They're mending their ways. They just needed a firm talking to, that's all. Mother forgives you, you naughty little pansies. It's Sweet funny because she probably planted the Mr. wrong pansies Wentz. there. Yes, indeed. Very sweet. Or she doesn't understand gardening as well as she claims to. One dose of strongium into the mix. <laughs> Once more into the breach. Mm. Sixty-six points. A nice dollop of protein and...
Well, that was pointless. No flowers in here. So that's where the dog tags went. I'm sure Gromit will be glad to get them back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, that kind of punish I can work with. What's the situation up there? I don't know. I had to deal with a neighbor who's a know-it-all for Gromit. I found thing. those dog tags you misplaced. Now you can walk around looking official. Come on, Gromit, you know you need to wear these. It's the law, basically. Any news from above? Gad, how I wish I were back in the fight! It isn't like Gromit to be so absent-minded. No, that's not absent-minded. That's just being willfully spiteful. I found these in the hall, Major Gromit. Dog tags! I've been recommissioned! Can't you are now Private Gromit. Can't leave good military material sitting on the shelf, trenches. Mm, yes, that's yes, all Yes, and I don't well, think you ever I left suppose, the trenches. But I'd need a good sturdy hell when I head in the war. Goodbye, Major. Stiff up a lip. My workers are very devoted to their queen. <laughs> Uh, it's funny because England doesn't have a queen anymore. I thought you Wait, might find funny. this that's useful, Major Crumb. Kind of tragic, helmet. But... By George Wallace, there's nothing like a good helmet. Makes a fellow want to put himself in the path of projectiles. Why? By thunder, I'm a soldier again. Sir George is ready for his dragon. And yet, duty compels me to remain here. No one else to guard the protein bars. Confounded sense of duty. Duty. Right. I'd be happy to take charge of the Groteen bars. You? <laughs> yes, I, I know that is an appropriate reaction to that kind of question. No offense, Wallace held chap, but you're hardly officer material. Okay. Gromit could do the job. Private Gromit? Can I entrust my precious cache of protein bars to a Pongo? Perhaps Hello. so. He's proven himself a trusty foot soldier. Yes. If He's I am not a Dalmatian. the front, I'd feel comfortable leaving Private Gromit in charge. Good heavens. I shouldn't be skulking around in a cellar like a frightened rat. I'm a soldier by thunder! Private Gromit, I hereby appoint you officer commanding this air raid shelter. Here, you pass out the rations. I've got a war to win. Charge! There's a method to this madness, I swear, Gromit. Now to get my hands on a protein bar. Gromit. Gromit. Come on, be a good boy. Request dispensation of protein bars, uh, soldier. Up we go, into the wild blue yonder, up we go, into the sodden. Put this bar into the head of the robot vendor. protein to give it texture. Now to mix up my very own quick grow muscle formula. 
There is no way this could end in disaster. Ought to do it. Exterminate! No, stop stop, stop. Help. I invention Zev Oh Thanks, lad. Checking to see if anything's sprouted yet, Mr. Wallace. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, Miss Flit. I am pouring this science really? skunk on my I flowers. I don't see what you're hoping to. <gasps> oh, I don't believe it. It works. It works. The whole main quick grow miracle muscle formula works. There's We're no way this could backfire. Land. You see, Gromit, look where a bit of enterprise can get you. If I hadn't found that flyer you chucked in the bin, I'd never have been able to concoct my miracle grow formula. And then where would we be? You really must be careful what you chuck out, you know? Uh, blinking Nora! Oh, my word! I think I'm going to faint. From a queen. This ought to be plenty of fuel for the old pollinator. I won't ask where you put those if you promise to never explain where you put those. It's a point and click adventure game. The sensible answer would be in the pants. Wait, Wallace, you fool! That's champion, that is. Fifty gallons of honey and just in time for my annual tea and crumpet festival. Pleasure doing business with you, Wallace. Always aim to please, our bees. Yes. That's Please the last of our bills, Gromit, and we've got just about enough left over for that little holiday we've been planning. This year, I fancy Blackpool. Oh, oh yes, lad. I Why? think our money troubles are over at last. Jared! Yes, and a whole new set of troubles cropped up. Excellent vantage point. Prepare for a crash landing, you devils! Sorry, Wallace, but I'm going to have to come near your dining room. Now, just a minute, Major Crow. No time to argue, old man. The whole crow's under bombardment. But here they come! Ah, giant bees. That's an egg from it. Giant bees. Heaven help the good citizens of West Wallaby Street. Civilians, what out! Mass, have you gotten us That's an order, this time? Wallace. Private Gromit, kindly escort this civilian from the battle zone. You heard the man. Into the basement with you. Yep. For Queen and Country, soldier! Pipes probably clogged. By crystallized honey, no doubt. Pesky bee. Heavens, Gromit, you don't suppose those monsters have anything to do with our honey-making operation, do you? What else Bumpling could it be? Egg. My quick-grow formula. It didn't just affect the flowers. Yeah, science is wacky like that. It's a wrong number, and not more bad news. Knowing you... 
they're still stuck from the living room, isn't there? He grabs the bees of from the basement into a nightclub. And a hive. A hive and a nightclub. It can be both. You really should make up by your mind. Yes, Mr. Paneer. Uh, well, of course you're upset. Being dive bombed by giant bees isn't good for any business. Indeed. Uh, we're doing all we can to get the situation under control. Uh, normal honey service will be resumed as soon as possible. Uh, with normal sized bees. That's a promise. But can you it's keep a giant that promise? Fly in the soup, lad. And it's shaped like a bee. Then it's They're just a bee in the over soup. The town. Time to read the riot act. I am their employer, after all. Speaking of which, are you allergic to bees? No, no, no. You otherwise would have started this in the first place. Oh! They won't listen. They're completely out of control. This funny business has a sting in the tail and no mistake. Well, that's oh. normal for bees. Do something for me. Hello, from B to... Oh, uh, Constable Dibbins. Oh, I see. Ah, Mr. Gabble here. I ain't much good at eating humble pie. But I spoke out a turn yesterday. You're not a daft apers after all. What I said to you, I'll take it all back. You're a credit to the town. Just a minute. What's this? Giant oh, freaking bees! Oh my kitty! Well, that There's is a short lived one apology. Here, what could have caused this? Careful with the auto flip frying pan, lad. The timer mechanism is very delicate. It's liable to spring at odd moments. Uh, I know Constable Tibbins. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Pinney has said. Uh, yes, I know, I know. It's terrible. I really wish you would make up your mind about whether or not you're bipedal or quadrupedal. Really? Playing with garden gnomes while West Wallaby Street is under attack? It's a porn click adventure game, lady. to see how that gnome could be of assistance. He doesn't even have his little... A tennis racket can be just as good as a cricket bat, and lady. Bad B. Very bad B. Okay. Clever, Gromit!
clearly the developers counted on getting the beating the bee first in here, then dropping it down the chute. Wallace be naked all day. It'd be funny, but it wouldn't be right. Cry havoc and let slip the mice of never mind. Expected. Kudos. Iron mongers. A name or an occupation? Somebody call the police. Get me out of here. Do something about these bees. I am stuck in my room. I cannot get out. So nonsensical, they're so territorial. Frame stopping tips. Back again, pet. Nice to see another soul game enough to stand up to them bees. Even if it is, pardon the expression, a dog. Ooh, blinking Nora, look at Mr. Panea, shut up in his shop like a prisoner, and all on account of a few blinking bees. You don't see Winnie Gabberly chucking in the towel, didn't close during the Hedgehog Riots of 72, wow. and I ain't closing now. Besides, where would I go if I did? I ain't going back to it flat with old man Gabberly. Not till he says he's sorry. Tossed out all me pansies, he did. Hmm. Always gallivanting round that one. Can't sit still for a minute. Is that you, Winnie? Are you coming back to me at last? Oh, it's just that dog. Boggy off your mongrel. Mongrel? And if she sent you, tell her I ain't gonna come crawling. Gabbily, don't beg. You want? Him, <clears throat> dog. It's you. Don't tell me. You want me to do something about the giant bees? You're on We're the, on the case, all job. right? Then buzzing bandits will feel the full weight of the law. Make no mistake. But uh, well, it's complicated. Don't know what the charges would be exactly. Nothing in the penal code about giant bees, so far as I can see. But rest assured. I'm looking. And you're using that as an excuse to cower under the table, no doubt. And tell that master of yours he left some at behind. There was another cheese, too. But I kept it for me sandwich. Fair payment for me troubles, says I. <laughs> Ew, that Wensley Dale would have been on the floor. Don't you have the five second rule in England?
really don't like the spouse. Yes, uh, Mr. Pinea said. Uh, yes, <coughs> I know, I know. It's. Okay. Use Princely Dale with door. So she'll errand be. Trying to sting you. It's looking grim out there. That's right, soldier. Help steady my aim. This is
I made. Hardly fair. I'll be the same to you, sir. Back in the air, blasted. I'll be the same to you, sir. Ah, I never fell in the pot. Back in the air. Blasted bullseye! Darn it! For you, my friend. Right where he belongs, the fiend. If you see that, ah, blew him right out of the sky. That'll be I some blew him out of the sky. Sight for you, Private Gromit. Why, I feel like a young man again. Calls for a celebration, Private. Meet you in the mess in twenty. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. You take nap, sir. I go to mess, sir. <laughs> but first, I have to make sure the bees don't kill anyone. For obvious reasons. Get out of the tree, please. Gromit! Opia! Now, listen to me. Nice doggy woggy. Don't talk down I'm to me. I'm trapped in this tree by giant bees. Do you and they're gone. You must take a message to your master. I need him to get me down from here. Can you tell him that? Oh, Not in uh, words. Uh, wait a minute. Give him this. It's a note. I know what a note is, lady. Don't patronize oh, me. Tell him to hurry. I, I can't hold on much longer. The bees are gone. Get these bees out of my shop, would you? I said, get out! I may be knocking on, but I ain't finished yet! You seem... Oh, Chuck, you're not about. Oh, no, you don't. Put that thing away. Ta then. Don't let the bees bite. Yeah, that is too high up. Let's try through. No. Potty for stew. But oh, that is disgusting.
Ready for bagpipes. Ah, Mr. Gavel here. I ain't much good at eating humble pie. But I spoke out a turn yesterday. You're not a daft apers after all. What I said to you, I'll take it all back. You're a credit to the town. Well, biting dogs come limping home. There now. Weren't so hard, were it? Is that you, Winnie? Breaking code of silence, are you? No need for silence now you've shown a bit of humility. Humility? Me? Never! Oh, you don't fool me. You're just a big old softy, and I know it. Hey, I need me head examined, keeping shop open when town's crawling with giant bees. What's got into you, Winnie? Stay back, I say! Resistance is futile. Oh, Winnie Gabbley! Well, that was fun. Okay, now we can get rid of these bees. Sorry for the delay, Long Mr. Paneer. Work. I think you'll find the streets are now be free. Thank heavens for the boys in blue. Now, I'll have to ask you to accompany me to the station. There's some paperwork we need to fill out. Nothing too bothersome. Happy to do my part. It's citizens like you what make my job a pleasure, Mr. Paneer. And as ever, the dog gets no credit. Well, might as well give if Wallace said SOS. Well, I know Constable Dibbins. Well, yes, like I said, he's very well trained. Right then. Goodbye, Constable. Good work, lad. Seems you took care of the downtown gang good and proper. Hooray! But so long as they're still supersized, our job's only half done. I'd better get to work on a reverse growth formula. You pacified all the bees, Gromit. Good lad. I knew I could count on you. Help! Wallace! So uh, boy. That sounds like Miss Flit. That's because it is. And you're naked. Help! Well, you're not decent at the very Get least. Get me down from here! Don't panic! I'm coming, Miss Flit! Oh, it seems I'm underdressed. Gracious! Yes, he... he yeah, he's like that sometimes. An absent-minded professor on, at the Miss best Flit. of times. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Humans are so So weird. that's the story, Miss Flit. I'm afraid my miracle growth formula led to some uh, super-sized problems. I hope you're going to get rid of the infernal stuff. Oh, I am. And rest assured, all the bees have been dealt with safely and humanely. Well, that's a relief. But weren't you scared facing down an angry swarm of giant bees all by no, yourself? No, was in the kitchen right. the whole time. Oh, well, I, uh... Well, I was heavily outnumbered, of course, but uh, they soon saw oh, sure. who was Throw boss the dog and the, under uh, the bus. sting was on the other foot. I was terrified. No That's fooling. only natural, Miss Flit. Uh, uh, well, I had a twinge or two myself at times, you know, but keep a cool head. That's my what motto. That? Look your adversary square in the eye and never let yourself get carried away. Gods!
The queen is being be incarnated as a bump, giant bumblebee. Oh, it's going me. How does that work? Lincoln, Nora, the queen's trying to turn me into royal jelly. The ingratitude. After I built her a hive in solid brass and a magnetronic pollinator thing of Egypt to take all the hard work out of honey making. Oh, I'm beginning to think I should never have mixed this growth formula at all. I ought to chuck it away. Hey! Easy old girl. No her, need that to is get excited. Royal jelly. Put me down gently and no one will get to Oh dear. Nothing in the beekeeper's manual about aerial abduction. Help! Help! Throw me! Atta boy! Here I, I come to save the day! As it stands, well, I don't actually know where the ladder is. What are you waiting for, no. Gromit? Raise the ladder! That's inconvenient. That's right, lad. Now raise the ladder! Sorry, that Ginger. Torn it. The ladder's broken, and I left the spare at home. Do you happen to know Ginger or any of the other chickens? Be gone, chicken! Why would you... Why would you try to get a feather something through the windshield? Okay, clearly that was a mistake. That's better. Lend me a hand, Gromit. <laughs> Are you back on Terra Firma? Well done, Gromit. Autopilot shall Gromit. be forever remembered. Gromit. You all right, lad? As... Oh, good show! Something great. We've made it through this little episode in one piece. More than I can say for the autopilot, I'm afraid. Look! The autopilot! Oh dear. Looks like our troubles aren't quite over. Look out behind you, Gromit! Keep her at bay. I'll try and lose her in here. A tunnel. Dodge bullets, will even drag his master's comatose body. 
frozen. To the what for, Grommy? This is a documentary about dogs. Gorgeous monsters infected on some rare tropical disease. A dog will give up years of his life and often invest his entire savings in an antidote. From whence comes the dog's ferocious loyalty? Among all the dog beasts, he alone recognizes the natural superiority of man. It is his privilege, encountered companion to the human being, the pinnacle of creation. And as part of our national government's weekend check, fight fire with fire. That's what they always say. Though why they say a daft thing like that, I'll never know. The dog. Man's best friend. For all the resources of his limited I think not. are attuned to one goal, and one goal only. How best to please his master. The master is as a god to him. A smile of approval and a pat on the head to the dog is his greatest rewards imaginable. Friendliest of beasts who dare any amount of abuse or indignity, so long as he's allowed a place to curl up at his master's feet. Ah. Hmm. Perhaps the honey could use a little kick. My word, but this tunnel is long. And I've been in some long ones, let me tell you. Give her a dose of her own medicine, lad. Willingly sacrifice his very life to save his master from danger. He'll fight wild cats and dodge bullets. He'll even drag his master's comatose body across a frozen tight through raging blizzards if he has to. Or if his master is infected with some rare and tropical disease, the dog I can't will tell give up. As if we didn't have troubles in our savings, like the antidote. From whence comes the dog's ferocious loyalty. I know British comedy can be funny, but a laugh riot. Right down the gullet. He bagged her, Gromit. Giant fucking teamwork, lad. Teamwork, lad. And for once, you're kind of honest in that regard. I've done it, Grubbit! I've found the antidote to that pesky growth formula! Did you now accidentally I'm shrink yourself? Cut our bee problem down to size! <laughs> Though there is one small uh, um, complication. Yes! <laughs> There is a small complication. Uh, at least you didn't have to be told you shrank. That would have been embarrassing. Uh, that was Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures Episode 1, Fright of the Bumblebees. These days, Telltale, well, they were just getting started on making licensed games. And then they got the brilliant idea to churn out you know, two of these, these big episodic games on a yearly basis. 
This backfired on them so horribly that they've only just now returned to prominence. Good game altogether, but... Wow, was it annoying when the mouse wouldn't select anything. That was... bothersome, to say the least. But seriously, though, if you want to have a little bit of personal fun with a Wallace and Gromit short, or mo the movie, or... Anything else? Just, just riff on it. Give Gromit some dialogue. He did, he's a adorable mute doggy, but still fun to hear him snark. Especially if one were to try to keep said snark wholesome. Hey. Hey, I know, a naughty mouse. Ben Whitehead, I don't recall offhand if he was the original voice of Wallace or not. I think he died a while back. I don't recall when exactly. never realize how many people it takes to make one of these games until you sit through the credits. And then you wonder how much they actually paid by person for all of this. I hope they got paid fairly back then, but still, it's something to work wonder. All hail the parental units and significant others. Report not appearing as himself. You never realize how old you are until you start counting for anniversaries like that. It Anyway, this has been Uncle Swinney with Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures, Episode 1, Flight Right of the Bumblebees. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, click the little bell notification icon, check out my Patreon, Nova Phoenix, for early access and ad-free content, and I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.